So first of all, good evening, everyone. This is day one of your CCI security version 6.0. My name is Nitit Sharma, and I'll be your lead instructor for the CCI security. To start with, I just wanted to explain first the what's the meaning of this keyword called as end-to-end -end program. So over the period of spam of three months down the line, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk on the product basis, okay? We're gonna talk on the module basis. So there will not be anything called as CCNA followed by CCNP, and then we're gonna do like CCI, which generally um, this is the track which most of the people follow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the module-based training. Now, what do you mean by the module-based training? I'm gonna take a particular product or a module, say for example, we'll start with the ASA from tomorrow onwards. And if you have zero knowledge on ASA, or if you have never worked on the word called as ASA or the product called as ASA, that is completely fine. We're gonna start it from the zero level. No matter it's gonna take 10 days, 15 days or 20 days, we'll finish the particular model to the expert level. And then we're gonna move to the next module. That is the meaning of the word called as end to end. Okay, so there is no such thing called as any NP or I. All are being included in this particular program itself. Okay, that's the beauty of this particular program. So having said that, the current version which is running and which you have opted guys is 6.0. This is your end-to-end -end program for CCI security 6.0. We're gonna work on all the products which has been part and parcel of the curriculum. Uh, all the blueprint will be covered over the period of the time. And before I move further, I'll tell you about myself. My name is Nitish Sharma. I live in India, Bangalore. I have total 14 years of an experience in total. I've been worked for different companies called as like Nokia Siemens Network, HCL. I worked for Cisco for the part time. And then completely I moved myself into the training industry. So as if now I'm working with Cisco products, Fortinet, Palo Alto, I'm into the part of the cybersecurity as well as data center. I'm 2X CCI. I'm already being certified with CCI data center as well as I'm certified in CCI security. Apart from that, I'm into the Palo Alto certifications. I'm into Fortinet before and SC7 certified. Followed by that, I'm done the Python core courses. I'm into the automation world as well as certain of the orchestration tools like the Tiffins and all. I worked on those particular products and many other stuff. So this is a small background. I do the corporate trainings also. I've been part with the global knowledge for associated time in Singapore, as well as for the Dubai branches. I did uh, so many uh, projects related to the UCS, ACI, as well as SD-WAN. I worked on those particular things. I've been part of now the NSC. This is Nitish Sharma and company. I'm the lead instructor and the trainer also for this particular company. My specialization, I've already told you. So I'm a CCI security certified to let you know about this particular lectures. Having said that, before I start my agenda of today's lecture, few things I wanted to start with off. In your chat, you can see the chat window over there. There are few abbreviations that we're gonna use it. Whatever I'm gonna explain it to you, if you understood, you can use why. That means, yes, you're able to understand that particular statement or the paragraph or the concept. If you want me to repeat it, if you didn't understand that, just type R. Whomsoever is not able to understand it, just type R. So I'll repeat that statement, para or the syntax. I'll repeat it up. Y means yes. R means repeat. I'll ask you to make certain notes over the period of time. You can use D. D stands for that means I'll be able to make it understand that you that particular person has done it. So D stands for done. R stands for repeat. If you want me to repeat, Y stands for yes. Any period of time, any given moment of the time, if you feel like you need to raise a question, you are absolutely free to raise it out. You just type Q in the chat window, or you can just type your question straight away. Any, any given moment of a time, you can type your question. Just, you don't have to write Q also, you just type it out. Again, in my entire curriculum, there is no such question called as a stupid question. Okay, generally people say that's a one stupid question. There is no such thing. For me, there are two things. Either the question is relevant or the question is irrelevant. Don't hesitate yourself to ask the questions. Ask it, okay? If the question is relevant for that particular moment, 
I'll address the question immediately. And if the question is need to be answered, maybe after two days or after 20 minutes or after three days, whatever the concept you have asked it, I'll make a note of that. And at that particular given moment of a time, the questions will be answered for you. So you don't have to worry anything about it. Just be blunt, write as many as questions you want it. You can do it. Yes, whenever you feel like, if the question is small, you can type it. If you need to have a discussion on a particular concept, or we need to have a better understanding of your production, say for example, or any scenario you need to discuss, Ashraf, you can unmute yourself, okay? Uh, we will do that particular things also. Everyone is cleared with this now? Shall we move it? Yes, repeat, done, Q. All good? Fantastic. Now this is the chat which I like. Good. It should be bi-directional, okay? We will build the session between us. It should not be a unidirectional flow. It should be a bi-directional. Next. So what we're going to do is we'll understand the agenda. Introduction, I'll give it to you. Today is all about the introduction. Nothing new. So we're going to talk about CCI security. Escore examination. We'll talk about the labs, how the lab is going to be worked, study preparation, and the closing of this day one. To start with, you have opted for CCI security. There are two hurdles that you're gonna, or two barriers you can say about it, that you need to clear it up. The first one is called as core examination, okay? And the second one is the main. This is your judgment day, okay? This is your main lab, your practical, will be done and conducted here. When you talk about the core exam, it's all about the written. Think about that. It's all about, uh, MCQs, multiple choice questions, any Pearson location in your state and city, in your country, you can just search it around and book your examination and can write it over there. Or post the pandemic, what has happened? You can give this examination from your home also. There are certain do's and don'ts, which over the period of time, I'll explain it up. Once you will try to uh, book it, we will be in uh, connect with you or we'll make a connection with you or we'll address you or we'll guide you how to do this. But you can give this particular examination from home also. Don't worry about it. The examination of the core goes for two hours maximum and around about 90 to 110 questions will be popped for you. It is not mandatory that all will get 90 or all will get 110. Within this particular pool of range, you will get your questions. It's a no open book exam. That means no documentation. You cannot open the documentation at all. The questions will come. The proctor is there. He is going to monitor you up. And you will get your scorecard immediately. Once you click on end the exam, you will get your scorecard then and there itself. This is the prerequisites. And we will work on this. And this is your part of the package. Whatever the, you guys have taken the package, it is the part of this package. So I'll make you prepare for this particular thing. But yes, we need to clear it up, okay? Without this, you cannot move further. Right? Once you have given your core examination, within a two years or two and a half years, because this keeps on changing by Cisco, you need to opt for your lab examination, which is the main examination. This practical examination, is based on certain Cisco locations only. You cannot just like give in your state, like in India, I'll take an example of India. It's just in Bangalore, okay? Nowhere else, it's not being any of the capitals, nowhere, only in Bangalore. I'll tell you what are the selected locations. It is being seen in the next few slides. I'll explain that also, where across the world, you can give your lab. And this exam, this lab exam, is precisely of your eight hours. This is a big exam, time-consuming exam, okay? And this eight hours is actually being divided into two ways. The first section is called as design, okay? I'll elaborate more in detail. But the first section, three hours, is your designing section. Just think in a way how you being a client and some customer is coming to you and they are absolutely raw, right? You need to just tell them, they will tell their requirements, all those things, and then you have to give the solutions to them. 
you need to design you have to have hlds and lleds for that high level design low level design exactly the same way and we're going to discuss this all the design portions we're going to talk about it so the first section is design point no labs no practicals will be tested here it's all mcqs again pretty much like your core examination followed by you have a duo section deploy operate and optimize what is the mean of this uh, deploy operate and optimize basically this is your lab portion you will be tested by the devices you will be given the routers firewalls ice whatever the different products that we're going to uh, work on in the next three and a half months all the products will be tested nothing will be spared up and those particular devices you need to do the configuration within five hours so this is how the eight hour examination is being divided three hours plus five hours okay total eight hours i'll elaborate more in detail in few minutes it's an open book exam cisco lab is an open book exam now when i say it's an open book it doesn't mean that you can take your own notes <laughs> you, it's not that you can open www.cisco.com and from the relevant portions you can open and see the configuration if you missed any of this thing you can easily do that again cisco.com only you can't bring your own notebook registers you can't only cisco documentation generally the score or your judgment day result will be there or your verdict will be given within 4 to 6 hours but maximum is 48 hours beyond 48 hours also if you didn't get your result you will need to raise a tack or you need to raise a ticket for that which i'll also help it but this is one one out of million this very rarely it happens that the result doesn't come up um, post 48 hours until a major issue has happened or major chunk has been done at the back end once you have cleared your core along with your practical examination then you will get your cci number five digit magical number this is the same process for the ccd also that's the reason cci slash ccd is being written but yes you will get your cci number after clearing these two hurdles so again i'll repeat it first is the core i'll elaborate as i'm saying since starting and practical both needs to be done followed by your five digit magical number the series which is running as if now is 65000 and plus that many few these are i'll say it's very few across the world these are the few ccis a very charming certificate i must say that it's one of the leading certificate which is revolving right now and you will get it in this way itself over the period of time cisco has evolved with its certification program okay now, if you have a look over here, there is now one only unified CCNA, only one CCNA. What used to be there, there are different tracks used to be there. Like we used to, the old guys, experienced guys may have know about it, routing and switching. We used to have the service provider. You have to have data center. You used to have security, collaboration, and blah, blah, blah. There's six, seven tracks used to be there. Each track has its own CCNA everywhere the ccna used to be there ccna data center ccna security ccna collaboration ccna service provider and many other stuff now it's just one unified ccna that means you don't have ccna security collaboration data center service provider wireless no only one ccna and that is ccna 20301 which is a code for that if you've done this certification you are associate which you call us Cisco Certified Network Associate. 